Y'all see the dilemma. <laughs> okay, girl, let me, let me go figure it out. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do, what it do? Back again coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but so me so about to do the do. How y'all doing? Listen, took a little break break, okay? I actually, I just took a break because I wanted my skin to heal. Because I did a TCA cross. T is it TCA? I did a TCA cross right here to fill in some pock marks and it actually did really, really good. This one is being stubborn, but after the scabs fall off, I know that sounds horrible, but after the scabs fall off, it was really, really pink and really, really sore. So I actually didn't want to wear makeup. So I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation going on, but the texture looks really, really good. It looks really good, especially these right here are really nice and flat. So I know that after, you know, I fade those marks and all of that good stuff is gonna look really, really good. I might have to go in one more time on this one. It is just, this one was deep and it's being really, really stubborn. But anyways, neither here nor there, we still look good, okay? I think this is the smoothest I've ever gotten it. Anyways, girl, y'all see the hair? Y'all see the hair? Oh, let me take it out. Let me take it out. Let me take it out and show y'all. We got some wavy hair today. We got some curly jerry type of hair. I have to spray the front because you know I was plucking and separated and stuff like that. But I actually styled it off of my head. This hair is by Love Me. Hello, can you get the can you get to this? <laughs> I mean, you just in here rambling and you ain't telling people where the hair is from. This hair is by Love Me Hair, so shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip of me styling the hair. Y'all know the drill. Don't act like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Well, for those of you who are new, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and style the hair off of my head on my mannequin. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that clip and then we're gonna come on back and do this makeup. For all the information on this hair, make sure you check the description box. Everything will be linked down below. Discount codes, whatever event they have going on, everything will be linked down there for you. So uh, yeah, make sure you check them out. I think this is my second time working with them and this I love this wig. I love the other one as well. That was a really, really beautiful unit. I still have that. That one I kept for myself. We're gonna talk about that later on, but girl, you can tell it's been a while since I've, uh, I, I have filmed, okay? Every time I take a break and I come back, I just be rambling. Girl, go ahead and watch the video, okay? And we gonna come on back. <laughs>
Walking down the street like an alien They say time will heal but I don't have patience You packed your things, now we begin the erasing All the memories slowly start to fade in The days move so slow, I know I gotta go But I can't, but I can't, I can't get anyway Cause I'm still My phone, I don't wanna face it Everything feels wrong and there's no replacing What we had is gone and it's all too late and I'm better off but I can't deal with this aching The days move so slow, I know I gotta go But I can, but I can, I can get anywhere Woo chow! Anyways yeah make sure you check them out everything will be linked in the description box and without further ado boo boo let's get close can we fit in to do the most or let's zoom in so we can get within <laughs> okay. okay so for today's look i'm feeling a little mauve you i feel like i did mauve in my last video as well girl but that's the kick that i'm on okay so today i am going to be using the revelation revolution not revelation girl we live in revelation uh this is the makeup revolution london palette and this one is called showstopper forever flawless showstopper and it is the purpley snake print okay and inside is basically like purples and blues and mauves and stuff like that so i'm going to be using this palette now mind you I think I've had this palette for more than a year. Ask me if I've ever used it. I need to stop it. I need to stop it. <laughs> okay. I don't need, I need, I need a little bit of help. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do like a purpley, definitely a purple mauve look. I'm going to use up the purples and the mauves and a little bit of gold, a little bit of champagne. And we're going to do the do. Boop, do, boop, shimmy, boop, boop, boop. Okay. So for my first color, what am I going to do? I think I'm gonna take this shade right here and with that I'm gonna start to kind of build my outer V area my outer crease area so at first I'm just gonna tap it in there and then I'm gonna go in and lightly buff it out you guys know how I like to do it okay very very simple okay next up I'm gonna take this shade in the corner right here and it's not high intense shimmer, but it's giving a little bit of sheen. So I'm going to take that and place that right beside that purple and just, you know, kind of blend that over. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade, basically. Y'all know the vibe. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with that mauve color that I placed on the crease area. And I'm just going to kind of buff on the very edge there just to blend that together so it doesn't look like I just placed it there and it's just sitting there you kind of want to blend everything together okay so now that I have that I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade on the corner right here with that and y'all guessed it we're gonna place that right on that inner area right there and we're gonna call it a day following the same suit I'm gonna take that like fuchsia shade a while ago that we had and we're just going to go over the very edge and just blend all of that together and we're good to go. Okay, so I want to add a purple liner to this situation. So I have two ways to go about this. I have the Dominique Cosmetics. This is an eyeshadow, like a metallic eyeshadow, but it's not really giving me the type of shine that I want. And then I have my mixing medium and I'm thinking about using one of these purples maybe this one or that one i think this one is a little bit too deep it has like a black undertone yeah i feel like maybe this one and mixing it with my mixing medium is going to give me the type of vibe or go in with the dominique cosmetics one and then top it off with y'all see the dilemma <laughs> Okay, girl, let me, let me go figure it out. Okay, so I decided to go with the Dominique Cosmetics Thingamajiggy Liquid Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeshadow, I mean. And then I'm gonna top it off with an eyeshadow if it's not giving me the vibes. I'm just gonna put this down as a base 
And I'm gonna do this pretty thick because I really want it to show. So I decided to go with the, whatchamacallit palette, the Be Perfect Carnival 2 palette. This has the perfect purple. You know, it's giving me the vision. And it's this shimmer purple right here. So I'm gonna take that and just start to kind of pat that on top of that base because that base is actually still kind of creamy. That eyeshadow, I should say. Back to the Revolution palette. So I cleaned up and yeah, this is not giving the purple. I want that purple that is on my lid, on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into the Carnival palette and I'm gonna take that same purple and start to smudge that right in to my lower lash line. That purple is extremely creamy and buttery as well. And it's so pretty. Whew, that was a struggle. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here for the eyes. So I'm gonna throw on my lashes and let's zoom out because we finish the show out. Okay, so for my moisturizer, Lulu Lun Lotion. Get a close up. I think I'm also just gonna put it on the screen for you guys because a lot of you wanted to know about this. This is, it's really good. It's really good. Y'all know Asian skincare, okay? I don't need to hype it up. Everybody love it. It's an all-in-one and this is the rich formula. Okay, next up for my primer, I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydra Grip, okay? Because we like when the makeup sits, <laughs> all right? And for this, you just need one pump, okay? You don't need a lot. You just need one pump and you really just wanna focus this like in your center area, like where you get oily the most and where you get a lot of creasing, stuff like that. Holy grail for me because, well, it never fails. I am going to go in with the MAC Paint Pot and this is Painterly and Bric-a-Brac mixed together, okay? Bric-a-brac was just, it was like a really deep orangey red and I just wanted to lighten it up so I decided to mix the two. I am aware that there is another color that is actually suitable for dark skin. I can't remember the name, but <laughs> I'm just not in the mood to order it right now because I still, I need color correction in this area as well, so. For those reasons, I just stick with this. Okay, this next step is completely optional, but I am going to go in with the Huda Beauty Loose Powder, and this is in the shade Cinnamon Bun. And we're just gonna pat this in the areas that we tend to get really, really oily. I'm not gonna do it all over the face. I'm just gonna focus it right in the center of the face. And this is basically just gonna act as a second primer and help to keep you as matte as possible, especially doing the, during, doing, <laughs> especially during these hotter seasons. Okay, showtime. I'm gonna go in with Maple by Too Faced. <laughs> I really like this, I do. And we're gonna go ahead and buff that into the skin. And then I'm gonna do my concealer, let it sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna go in with my contour. Am I gonna contour today? Sometimes I really don't feel like I want to contour, you know, like I want you like I just want to leave it alone like, you know Okay for my concealer. I'm going to be using sand warm sand y'all know the drill. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with warm sand first We're just gonna place this and let it sit for a minute before we blend it out and for my second highlighter I'm gonna go in with sand alone and with that we're just gonna touch that in the very tops right here and that's it we're done, done. Am I gonna contour today? You know, cause sometimes I really just love that soft look, like no chiseling, no nothing, like just leave it alone, powder it down and move on. Just a little blush. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so it's been like a minute or two, so let's go ahead and blend all of this out. We're just gonna pat this out using this brush as if it was a sponge. We're not swiping, you want to pat. Swiping with a brush like this can, one, buff away all of the color, literally make it non-existent, like what did you just do, sis, okay? All of that work and it's gone, all right? And two, leave streaks. So you don't want that. Now if you wanna use your sponge, definitely use your sponge. A sponge will work, just blend this out beautifully, okay? A sponge, yes. But girl, I'm tired of washing sponges, <laughs> okay? Like brushes are just way easier to deal with compared to a sponge. A sponge, baby? I will use a sponge to set my face with a powder because washing powder out of the sponge, it's like nothing, you know? But once that concealer and foundation is in there, girl, I feel stressed. <laughs> 
Okay, time to set everything in place. Y'all know the deal. Hunafa, Huda, Kunafa, and cinnamon bun. I know y'all tired of seeing it, but I'm not tired of using it. So we're gonna go in under those eyes and we're gonna pat this in until the eyes just soak it all up. Okay, now I'm gonna take the butt and I'm gonna go into cinnamon bun. And you wanna coat the bottom really nicely and then I'm just gonna pat it out to set the rest of the face. Okay, so now we are going to bronzify to catch Poppy's eye. And I'm just gonna do a little bit because as you can tell, I didn't contour. So just a little wash of color is all I'm going to do. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Just a, just a little bit, just a little kiss of some red. That almost looks like I put blush on there. So I'm gonna use the, <laughs> what is this? Ooh, just in here vibing. The Tan Palette by Juvia's Place. And as usual, I take the lightest color and we're just going to chisel my dizzle. Okay, now this, we gotta contour. We gotta shake this up, okay? Can't just be out here looking like that. Okay, girl, we almost done. Let's do this blush, okay, all right. Mm. I really tried to grab another palette today. I really did, even a little single blush or something. I really did, I really tried and, and, and my body said, it just said no. My body said no. Okay. Okay, so before I finish off and move on to what, mascara and lips, I'm gonna go in and take this dark purple right here and with that, I'm going to just brush that into my lower lash line just to kind of brighten that up some more. So I'm just putting it on top of that shimmer and it's just giving it a really cool effect as well as I'm carrying it way in to my inner corner so I can have like a cat eye type of look without really creating a cat eye basically. Like I'm just kind of brushing it in there, just roughly. With that same brush, what I'm gonna do is go into this palette. I'm using a lot of palettes today, okay? So I'm gonna take this shimmery pink right here and with that, I'm going to spritz down the brush and you guessed it, you guessed it, okay? We're gonna put that right in that tear, that brighten that up. So I'm gonna do like a purpley, I'm gonna do like a purple nude lip, a purple ombre lip, <laughs> something like that, okay? So I have two colors here. I think I'm gonna go with the NYX eyeliner and I have two of them here, one is by LA Girl. I'm gonna go with the NYX one because it's a lot deeper and I think it's gonna give what it needs to give and this one is called, what is this called? Purple blaze so i'm gonna go ahead and rim my lip with this and then i'm gonna search for a nude lipstick and we're gonna do the do it's giving something <laughs> okay. um i think i'm just gonna go with a gloss and this one is by nars and i don't know what the name is girl it's in japanese okay i got this as a gift so <laughs> work with me now but it's just a true mauvey pink that's exactly what it is. Okay, last but not least, I am going to spritz my face and I'm gonna be using the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by CT, okay? <laughs> and I feel like my fan just blew all of that over there, girl. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Love Me Hair. Everything will be linked down below for you, so make sure you check them out. The hair is absolutely bomb, okay? Listen, if it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, come on in. We are a happy bunch. You would like to keep it nice and clean and classy in here. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. That way you get notified whenever I do upload a new video. Make sure you check me out on all of my social media platforms, which is TikTok and IG. Everything is under my name. Comment down below because I 
want to hear from you guys give the video a thumbs up if you liked it if you like the vibe nobody's forcing you but it would help your girl out now <laughs> okay yes uh what else is there <laughs> girl y'all know the deal okay so until the next video take care of yourselves and i will see you guys really really soon on the next one well, I see how you stare up and down everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk till we drop or till we get kicked out Let's just say what we want